<laughs> now we're live. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Titan Mania. It is championship week, the free-for-all week. Oh, my God, we are nearly, uh, we're about a month out, a uh, month, almost two months out from Titan Mania 2, uh, which is crazy. It's crazy because me and Robert have been working our ass off to make this entertaining for you guys. And uh, we got some new people joining in. We got a new producer by the name of Mindy, who unfortunately couldn't be here today. But uh, yeah, so we got a lot of stuff going on. We got retirement announcements coming from myself saying this is going to be my last year. We got people coming out challenging, free for all stuff. We ain't here to talk about that today. We're here to get a championship match going because one of these guys more likely will be ended up main eventing the Titan Mania this year. So. It's never really happened. This is the first time ever. This is the first time when we had last year with the free for all, when Ryan Payne came in at number two and shocked the world. That was for a title. This year we have a champion who has been killing it, and we have a young competitor who just got breakout player of the year. And I'm going to say right now, even though the MVP award has not been officially announced because I can confirm it now, Robert Kastner is our new MVP of the year. So I mean, it, it's. It was unanimous. Everybody voted for him. So, I mean, this is a breakout year for him. We'll make a post about it later. Uh, I got a trivia video coming for you for your breakout year, so look forward to that. Um, and besides me going heel, I mean, we've had a great year so far. But anyway, it's the championship. The winner of this more likely, besides the inaugural Edward Ross uh, event, memorial event coming up, more likely this champion will possibly be main eventing. So tonight we got the champion, Robert. Kastner, two-time champion. I believe he's still a champion over at Joe. So, yeah. And then we got Chris. Chris has been rising through the count. So let's go ahead and get into the interviews, and then I will make the announcement. Uh, let's start off with the champ. Rob, this is your fourth title defense. Third? Fourth? I think it's only the second. It's only the it's second. Yeah, second. Yeah, only the second. You're 4-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. Bobby 4 which is impressive. I mean, Adam Collins with 7-0. So... <laughs> yeah, well, you know, uh, I maybe maybe it wasn't quite as um, you know on, on the same plane of uh, importance necessarily, but I still enjoy the fact that I am defeated, and we're here again. Well, I mean, honestly, you're the MVP now. We can yeah. make it official. I'll put it on the Facebook. You are the MVP. Yeah. I mean, it was us three. Honestly, it was us three for the MVP this year, which yeah. was crazy because uh, Antonio should have been on that conversation with the goal of V three. But, I mean, we each, all three of us, honestly, gave the best performances we've ever had in each of our careers. And I've been in the career now for this is my fifth year. So, I mean, we each gave an incredible career. But you just changed the game this year. Ryan might have changed last year with the remarkable career he had last season. You did the thing no one's really ever done. You won two titles in the same league. Yes. Well, not the same league, but two different leagues yes. that know each other, that understand each other which I don't think it's ever been done at the same time. So I don't know if it's been done at the same time where two people, one person has won two different championships, uh, you know, and we kind of like to say this is the WWE NXT stuff. I mean, you're the champion. How are you feeling going into this match? Because you got a lot of pressure on you now. You not just got Chris. You got almost <laughs> nine, maybe 10, 11 people coming after you. Like this a lot. And especially since the fact I might go a little heel right now. I'm not going to right now, but you almost got – you got really, really lucky when you faced me last month, two months ago. So, I mean – Oh, luck's part of it. What are you going to do? Sometimes yeah. sometimes the sun That was probably the hardest but... championship match I've ever faced, too. There's been a few. Because we both were nailing each other. So, do you expect the same thing tonight? What do you expect? Uh, well, I have to say this is old hat because I've played Chris for a title twice. Uh, so expectations are is that it will be a good match as it has been in the past. Um, for as for all the other people in the free for all who are coming at me, they gotta get through each other first. So I can just kind of sit back. You know, I I actually don't feel like there's a lot of pressure on me. Frankly, I feel like I'm kind of sitting high. I've kind of proven myself and my worth already. Now it's just kind of easy street. All right, so let's go ahead and go to Chris. Chris, you're facing a big challenge. I mean, yeah, you. You already won a championship, and surprisingly, everybody this year with the one over at Joe, nobody saw it coming. It was kind of the underdog moment of the year. Um, now, you're in the big leagues, man. You're in Titan. Like, this is a big deal. This is the WWE. And, you know, you had a chance, and you were kind of the third out of, out of the three competing for that title. I mean, but you did beat Antonio. Antonio came in second this time. This time, you're taking in 
honestly, a lot of people are saying you're the underdog tonight because of Rob and everything he's done this season, as well as you. You've, nobody's TK no Grant Gregory, but you did. Like that's that is still the moment of the year. Like people are talking about that. It's more of a match of the year than it is me and Robert. And we, it was pretty close to the fact that we had a hell of a match, a hell of a promo. But you TKO Grant, like that's never happened. I don't, Rob, if you correct me, that's never happened. So, not from my understanding, no. No. I mean, I faced him. Rob, I think you faced him before. I actually have not. No, I've oh. actually never, never uh, crossed swords with Grant Gregory. Maybe that'll be a mania match someday. <clears throat> <laughs> but anyway, he is like the Undertaker. So when, when people look at you, when you say, "Hey, I TK Dogan and Gregory," that's a big deal. How are you going into that? Because this is a big challenge for you. Yeah, this is a challenge. Like me and Robert faced each other before. He took my title away from me and Jack Alter. Yeah. <laughs> so I like I've been running a combat year this year. So far, I've been having I won three straight matches in the most recently, and then hoping for a good win today. And not and I lose against Robert. Against a great competitor, Robin, one of my favorite competitor fates against in any league. Like, and we came close before other things, especially over in some of the other league. We a couple of fun nights we came close to at each other's throats. So this should be interesting, and I'm here to have fun. Win or lose, this should be a fun one. And, All right, well, you met our competitors. Let's go ahead and get into it. But today, I got a little a little surprise for y'all. It's not going to be a five-round championship match. We're going to break the rules today and do a three-round. So it's going to be more of a challenge. So anyway, it's your simple three rounds. If you guys don't know, let's get into it. Round number one is going to work like this. We each have eight questions from different categories. You have to get eight of the questions right to move on. And they're hard questions. If you get all eight, you get a perfect round. If not, that's how the rules work. Gentlemen, are you both ready? Yeah. Season, you're yeah, right. phone this time because I'm on a computer this time. And no, this is not a girly case. Okay, maybe it is, but it's all I got. Uh, let's go to question number one in round one in the category of dramas. Uh, also, make sure you have hands up, and I see your hands at both times. All right, let's do it. Question number one comes in the category of dramas. Which action star played Jackie DeMorso in Find Me Guilty? You know, I've heard of this a good movie. I haven't seen it. Not I do like this guy. And no, I'm not giving no hints. Uh, all right, pens down. All right, let's go to the champ first, Rob. I didn't know this until the other day when this came up as a question somewhere else. Vin Diesel. That's correct for one point. That goes one point to uh, Rob. Uh, Chris. My favorite performance from him, Vin Diesel. That's pretty good. Um, I might need to get a uh, – you know what? Fuck it. I'll just use the note for uh, – Oh, so Peter Dinklage is also really good in the movie. It's one one. Yeah, I actually have him as my face, but I refaced him for the uh, profile picture of the last witch. Those can tell. It's pretty fun. All right. Question number two comes in the category of action movies with my boy, The Rock. Uh, Yeah, I know you're laughing over there, Rob. And Skyscraper. What happens to Will Sawyer that makes him lose his leg in the beginning of the movie? <sighs> you could go this a couple mm. different ways. A lot of people hate this movie. Matt Beer hated this movie. I love this movie. It took me a couple times to realize I liked it, but I love it. And it's kind of, <laughs> as your father, you realize something like that happened, even though it's not likely you're going to jump from a freaking sky, crane to a skyscraper, but if All right, remember, then let's go to Chris. Is there like a bomber explosion in Iraq when he was a soldier? Yeah, I'll take that. All right, Rob. I said it was blown off by a grenade. It was more of a bomb. Okay. That's right. Grenade bomb. Mm. No, you don't have to give that to me. All right. Well, got right, Chris, two to one then. Yep. Yeah. Oscar film. In the history of the Oscar films, in the history of the Academy, how many films have had a clean sweep? Uh, well, they were nominated. I mean, these questions are hard. Uh, this one is hard. I... Hmm. 
I'm gonna take a guess here. All right, let's go to Rob. I said three. All right, let's go to Chris. Been here all about even low to wing three. That's three. All right, Chris is up three to one. Three to two. Did you name all of them, by the way? Yeah. Uh, it was Ben Hur, Titanic, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Oh, I thought. Yeah, I missed one. It's all about you. All about you. <laughs> it's all yeah. good. Question four comes in the category of classic films. Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr. star in what 1960 film that has become a famous 2000s reboot franchise? I still haven't seen this one. I seen all the others. Mm. All right, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, by the way, my bucks won. I'm very happy about that because I'm from that area. Um, let's go to Chris first. I know Rob is just kicking me because I'm a Brady fan. Yeah, yeah. Love, love to be made for everything you were in Ocean Eleven. That is correct for one point. All right, let's go to Rob. Ocean's Eleven. All right, that is four to three, if I'm correct. Yep. Yeah, I bet you're, you're you're pretty pissed that my guy won them again. This is 10 Super Bowl. That's crazy. Yeah, um, I have problems with that game, but we won't go into it. It's fine. We'll talk about it on that sports podcast when we do that. <laughs> yeah. Question five in the category of Star Wars, you lucky bastards. Who plays Emperor Palpatine in the Star Wars saga? It's pretty easy. On a little bit hard to spell in way. <laughs> All right, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go to Chris first. Ian McDermott. That is correct. Uh, Rob. Ian McDermott. Five to four. All right, let's go to question six. In the category of actors, actresses, how many Elizabeth films have been made starring Kate Blanchett? Queen Elizabeth. Tricky. Not really, yeah, because my roommate, my former roommate, talked to me to death about this. Damn. You know, I can try. All right, let's go to Rob first. Two. That's correct. Chris. My former roommate would kill me. I didn't dig it. My two. <laughs> two. Yep. Can you name both of them? No. Elizabeth and Elizabeth the Golden Age. Yep, you got it. All right, question number seven. So uh, six to five. Mm -hmm. Question number seven comes to the category of directors. Who directed Southland Tales and Darnie Darko? Oh. Ah, I got Chris on that one. Mm -hmm. Maybe. We'll see. I think we got me a little bit. You know, I watched that for the first time the other day, and I'm a big fan of The Rock. I didn't <laughs> get it like that movie. It was weird. Well, I do like Darnie. Uh, yeah, there you go, my perfect mouth. <laughs> I gotta give the five count. Five, four, three, two, one. Riss, you go first. I know I get it did it right. I said Joe Dante. That is incorrect. All right, let's go to Rob. I had no idea. I said Paul Greengrass. Ah, I got you both. It is Richard Kelly. Okay. What and question number eight doing? comes in the category of comedies and dodgeball. What does Ben Stiller end up shaking, shaking his butt? What part of his body to the song "My Milkshake Brings All the Boys to the Yard"? It <laughs> 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 ran some weirder one. All right, five, four, three. Two, one. I'm looking for a really good answer, Rob. His man boobs. <laughs> <That's correct. laughs> oh, Chris. No, I did it again. I said his balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Rob. You know that's funny. 
I thought it was funny in 2004. It's not anymore. Not to, no. no. If I'm thinking right, do we have a tight game? Yeah, yeah it should be 6-6 six, six all. 6-6. Six, six. All right. So, obviously, you guys know what Rathu is going to be. I just thought that would be a funny little question to do. Rob's shaking his head like he's a dad. No, I'm not. So. <laughs> all right. Round number two is going to go like this. We each have an actor, a director, an actress. Uh, because the game is tied, I'm going to refer to the champion this time to pick between A or B. You're going to get a category. You're going to get a person. You guys got to pitch your numbers, things like that. All right, Rob. Uh, We'll go with B. That is Matt Damon. Ooh. Keep it. All right. Yeah. So go ahead. Uh, we'll start with the champ first. Pitch your number. All right, we'll go with Chris. Pitch your number. One. I'll be safe. <laughs> All right, he said one. I said three. Said... All right. All right, guys. I need your markers. I need hands up. I need everything. All right, let's go. Round number two. Question number one, the category of Matt Damon. And Jason Bourne, who plays Richard Webb, Jason's father? Uh... Five, four. Repeat. All right. What's your first repeat? You have three left. And Jason Bourne, who plays Richard Webb, Jason's father? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, pens down. Let's go to Roffers. I had no idea. I said Tommy Lee Jones. That is incorrect. Let's go to Chris. I said Brian Cox. That is also incorrect. We're looking for Greg Henry. I don't oh. know who that is. <laughs> He's the guy who plays Peter Quill's grandfather. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Question number two, to keep your guys' points. Yep. In Goodwill Hunting, what is Will's talent? Like, what is he – what is it? Never mind. Shut up, Case. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go to Christmas. He good at solving equations, making math. I have no idea what that says. Because he's good at solving equations and math. We'll take that. Yeah, that's correct. Rob? He said he can solve complex math equations. That works. I would have put he's good at math. <laughs> so it's either way. So, all righty. All right, to keep you guys in points. And we bought a zoo. What happened to Ben's wife? Oh. Um. Hmm. Tricky little question, eh? Hey? I love this movie, but you only ask a tricky question. <laughs> All right, let's go to Rob first. I knew I should have bet more conservatively. I said she died of cancer. That's correct. All right, Chris. He died of cancer. That's correct. All right, you guys keep your points. Six, six. So yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, round number three. So work like this. You're going to pick a number between one to 21. Uh, right. So three numbers. All right, let's do it. All right, so I'm going to put these down. So hold your heart, boys. Uh, six to six right now. Okay. Rob, go ahead and give me your numbers. Uh, seven, four, and 16. 16? Yep. All right. Chris? Chris, you frozen? Yep. Chris? Chris, don't be scared. <laughs> All right, Chris, pick your three numbers. I like that beard, though. He's got four. This one? Yeah. Both of you. 
We all do, actually. She runs them. Yeah. Well, I try, yeah, to, keep, I I try to keep this as much as I can. Should I drop cool. them and bring them back? I don't know. I think uh, I think it's running really slow, if not completely stalled out. Papa, can you hear me? It's a good Jason Bourne question. I'll tell you that. Never You're watched. Welcome. Never watched that movie. I know how how hard are these questions then? <laughs> um. I I I knew The Rock got his leg blown off. I just didn't remember by what, so I feel bad about that. Oh, good. And I never would. That was a trickier question. That's why I was thinking about that answer. Um, but yeah. I never would have got the other one that we missed. So I mean, while we got you right now, while we're waiting, um, who have you? You were really giving your prediction right now. Who do you think's winning the free for all? Hmm. A good question. Um, I, I, I mean, I don't know right now because the people who I would have said aren't in it. <laughs> I don't know. Good question. Well, we got eight guys already confirmed out of those eight. Um, you. Really? Yes. I'll say you. I would have said Anthony if he if he was in it still. Oh yeah. Him. For those who don't know fans, you'll obviously realize we had to have a dropout, so yeah. it happens. Yeah. Uh, there are things going on beyond the fan leagues for some people because they're lucky to be associated with people who are getting called up to the big leagues. So who is that? Anthony's wife, Christina. Who? Anthony's wife, Christina, is in the mix to be drafted. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, we got to handle that. Like, what are some of our guys? I mean, we had Adam was supposed to come and then he got drafted up. So. Yeah, uh, I'm, he's gonna be a Hall of Famer next year. He's in the he's in the ballot. So I mean, like, not just saying that, but you know, we obviously we're talking about this. He he's gonna be a number one Hall of Famer. Hey guys, sorry about that. My connection. All good, brother. Chris, you're back. Hey. All righty. All right, Chris. Well, we got his numbers. Now we need yours. From what to what? One to twenty-one, not seven, four, or sixteen. Yep. Five, nine, two. Okay. All right. Let's go to Chris. I'm going to do Chris first this time. Uh, you picked number five, and that comes in the category of recent releases. All right. Where is it at? Right here. Okay. All righty. Who directed the recent release, The News of the World? That would be Paul Greengrass. Is that right? Yeah, the thing I who just did Captain Phillip did we? That is correct for two points. Yeah, I put Phillip. My bad. All right, we got eight to yep. All right, so let's go back to Rob. Your first question comes in the category of action films. Cool. Who directed Triple X: Return of Xander Cage? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. I, I had to laugh there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, have no I have no idea. I'm not going to waste time. Uh, Craig Brewer. I don't know. DJ Caruso. I look at him. Why are you running with a hood up? <laughs> that one's a little camera. Oh, no. I'm good. <laughs> Sorry. No. Yeah, it's upstairs in the room. In the middle of live, by the way. Great live TV. <laughs> Just keep walking right through. Sorry. No, you're good. So say I hi can, to everybody. It didn't Travis. affect my ability to answer that question, so that's fine. Yeah. Why don't you say hi to everybody, Travis? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to question number two. Yep. Uh, Chris, no, what category of movie line? What movie has the saying, of course the wolf flies? Um, Chris, that Chris, this should be my question because I'm behind. Oh, is it? All right, so that's your question. My bad. Wait, this is my question? Yes. Okay, can I get a – I'm going to repeat Maybe, that. Yeah, yeah, I meant to say you. My bad. Let me oh. close my door so we can't get any noise coming out. My bad. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're going to break the life. One second. Great. Yeah, I do apologize for the noise coming from my area. Oh, I'm good. I apologize for my room. Making that big noises. 
<laughs> You're good. Let's go. Thank you. Chris, what's the category for those? It is uh, movie lines. Movie lines, okay. Okay. What movie has the saying, of course the wolf flies? I heard of this before. Sorry, I had to explain to my roommate not to say it. I bet Rob will tell you that repeat. again. Repeat. Repeat. Yeah. Question number two comes in the line of movie lines. What movie has the saying, of course the wolf flies? Travis, you should actually do movie trivia. You can do that. <laughs> Hey Chris, you should you tell my friend, my roommate, he'd be good at movie trivia. <laughs> Try it out. Uh, I don't. I have no clue. I'm gonna say Into the Woods. That is incorrect. We were looking for Rampage, bro. Oh. Uh, you said, that, 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 I thought you said Wolf Lies, and that's why. Yeah. I remember thinking in the company of Wolf for a moment, like. You want to Jesus? And then my roommate wants to get in the movie closet and watch Rampage. Take it. All right. So this is my last question. Sorry about that. He's Travis. <laughs> all right. Uh, so that'd be question number three then, right? Yep, for me. Mm -hmm. All right. It all leads up to this, right? Because he's leading by two. Yep. If you don't get this, we got a new champion. Yes, we do. All right. In the category of Westerns, what famous John Wayne movie saw him dying? on screen for the very first time. Ooh, good one. Remember, you have four repeats, uh, three repeats. Repeat. In the category of Westerns, what famous John Wade movie saw him dying for the very first time on screen. Think on this no right by I'm not gonna delay this, I'm not sure. So Chris, congrats. If I do not get this. I'm gonna say the shootest. And your winner and the new Titan Trivia Movie Champion of the World, Chris Diaz. Wow. Cool. Um, you were showing me his walking stick. Oh, I don't care. No, I totally got me Oh. All righty. So let's get into it. Um, what was the answer? Let's go to Chris first. Chris, new champ. So, uh, Chris, what was the answer, Ashley? Oh, what was it? Oh, my bad. I'm sorry, I got distracted. The Cowboys. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Cowboy, we're done. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that boy, anyway, man. let's get into it. Um, Chris, new champion, man. That's crazy, bro. Um, how you feeling? I feel like shock. I was so nervous. Like this was starting to feel like on uh, all trivia and field of match. I have with Robert when he came down to the floor. Like, but yeah, Robert did a great job. Like. He beat me twice. I beat him once. So now we starting an even back and forth now. <laughs> it's it, and if he went free fall, I would look forward to facing him again down the line. <laughs> but yeah, this was a fun one. Like every, it was fun. Like I am shocked. I was expecting win today. Not. I think all. we're all pretty shocked. Yeah. To be honest. <laughs> like I would like. I le I also learned my lesson for betting too much. So I happy I only bet one and got like two out of the field. <laughs> but yeah, it was a great game. Robert did a great job. I'm like I happy to face him. Like I like I glad I wanna get a good opponent than a bad opponent. And it was a close game. Like I 
I want to know what my other two questions would have been, but it would have been interesting if Rob had gotten. But I look forward to facing him again. Looking forward to facing whoever wins we fall. So, bring on. And Robert, congrats on playing so well today against me. Like, this was a fun, close game. Thanks, man. Oh, we lost him. We lost him. Isn't that fun? Um, so, I guess I'll just go. Uh, yeah, it was a close game. Uh, three, three questions about three movies I've never seen. Uh, I didn't know if he said Wolf Flies or Wolf Lies. Uh, so that confused me. That was cool. Uh, but, you know, we were neck and neck all the way. Uh, yeah. Chris Chris put out some hard questions, at least from my point of view. Same. About things I've never seen. So that was bound yeah. to happen. But you played a great match. Um, me too. What are you going to do? Uh, you can't hold on to titles forever. Uh, I won it and I defended it. So looking forward to seeing if you can do the same. Same here. Like, and I look forward to seeing it. You win more again and face me again. Like this back and forth game between the two of us. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I'm, if I'm doing the free-for-all because I'm uh, writing the questions for it. So more than likely, I probably won't do it. But we'll see. Um, see if Be Chris sure to watch it on Friday once, wherever it airs on YouTube to actually watch it. <laughs> it'll, yeah, it'll be live. So it will be on Friday. It'll yeah. be on Friday. So I will comment the, my comment on the winner when I watch it and when I get home from work. So look forward to that, you guys. Good. <laughs> really looking forward to that. Um, I hope Chris is going to come back because he's the one who controls the stream. Uh, yeah. My uh, God, like all the Jason Bourne movies, he could act the, the worst one. <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have, yeah. I wouldn't have known that. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, like, I, know, I know some of the people who are in it, but yeah. I don't. I didn't know who was his dad. I mean, yeah, ever like not Chris Cooper, and not Tom Lee Jones. We're going through the whole like male yeah. cast. <laughs> I knew it wasn't Tommy Lee Jones either. I just didn't know who it was. Sorry, the freaking war Wi-Fi went out. Yeah, we were just kind of rehashing the match and rehashing feelings uh, while you were away. So. Yeah, I'm good. All right, so you guys ready then? Continue then. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, well, right. I don't know if you want to have any questions. Chris Chris answered your first question. Oh, okay. Did you want me to give you the rest of your questions, Chris? You know, yeah. sure. Well, I mean, um, yeah, but we want to do that off the air, right? Yeah, off the oh, air, not yeah. to get people oh. yeah, oh, ideas. Wow. No, I meant, I don't know if you had any questions in the exit interview, any additional ones for him or for me. Yeah, I'm going to finish that right now. All right, okay. so, Chris, let's go ahead and break this down. You are now the champ. So, um, Rob, like I said, we'll talk to you in a second. Um, pretty much unless somebody really steps in, bro, you're main eventing Titan Mania. Like, that's pretty big, bro. So, um, congrats. Uh, just know you got eight other guys who are wishing for that spot, bro. So, be I ready. Would, no matter what. I was so. just saying, on, when I get home from work on Friday, I will be commenting on the winner in the comment section. So, look forward to watching the, the event itself. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All righty. But um, let's go ahead and talk to Rob. Rob, maybe I shouldn't tell you we're MVP. <laughs> maybe that gave it away. I said it to Chris while you're in a messed up. I mean, three questions in the third round about three movies I've never seen. So what are you going to do? It happens. Yeah. Um, so what's next for you, man? I mean, next. you're writing the questions for the free-for-all. Yeah, I'm doing so that. I don't know if that means you can still compete. I probably won't because I'm doing that. So I'll probably announce right now that I'm not going to. Here's what I'm thinking because we got Titan Mania coming up. I'm guessing you probably don't want another shot for the towel. I think you want a little break. Yeah, I'll just break. Yeah, let other people let other people compete. I, I told Chris so, I won I defended it. I'm right? personally thinking no matter what happens in the free for all, I'm thinking we go ahead and match this up and I'm gonna pitch it to you guys right now. Grant Gregory versus Rob Kastner, Titan Mania. Ooh, that'd be like interesting. Yeah. I like it. You don't want my favorite I think we got Rob's <laughs> approval. Put it on a book. I like it. We'll do it. I mean, he's pretty much the Undertaker, so whenever you go up against him at Titan Manny, he is 1-0. and 0. 
So he's already undefeated right now. He won the first ever IG, which we will have an IG champion. But, I mean, Rob, you've had a hell of a fucking championship title reign. So yep. don't let – you're going to have another one. So I know what's going to happen eventually. I'm still a champion so. in the other league. Yeah. So it's fine. See, and I will and be, I and I will be coming for that. <laughs> I get it. I was so pissed because I lost the one question to replicas the last fucking time. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, send it off. Before I get to that, Chris Diaz, the champ now. Uh, might I just add, let's say this real quick because honestly, you don't know who is the, you know, okay, some of the eight people, we have a couple others who are non official yet, but we will confirm in the match. Who is your, in your mind with your prediction? Who is going to win the free for all and face you at Titan Mania? Who do you think? I don't know. Anybody could win at this point. I keeping my prediction close to my vest because I well, don't want Rob, to you predict want to and. Him, you want to give him your prediction, Because Robbie kind of gave his prediction. He's gone. Oh, I, I think Dave's going to win. Yeah, same. Ooh, yeah. Dave Brand versus me. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Everybody else is going to vote no to that. Well, I hate it, man. Well, I mean, I, I, I haven't. Have, I had some idea before, but now this is where I'm going to go. All right. You've heard I haven't first. faced him yet, so yeah, that'd be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, especially for your last, my last match, too. I would like to see that. Wouldn't be a bad one. Wouldn't be a bad marquee match. No, and honestly, I'm going to say this now. I'm going to say it again. When I, I have a podcast coming up, when I talk to people who are competitors, Rob's going to be my first guest. And I'm going to say right here, the idea – of passing a torch, which is very famous in schmodowns and wrestling and everything. A lot of people said pretty much after this title match, when I passed the torch to Rob as kind of the guy, you know, Chris might be the guy too, but there's a lot of great competitors who are really showing their rise to this. We've now had three champions, Ryan Payne, Robert Kastner, and now Chris Diaz. Mm -hmm. These are a lot of guys who are very much, not getting a lot of attention that should be getting attention. So to Schmodowns, don't underestimate some of us over here in the indie leagues, kind of like we're like the WWE. We, we were kicking ass. We've done this now for four or five months. We got the biggest event coming up at the end of a couple months. We got the free-for-all Friday. There's no other way to not subscribe here to Titan Mania. This is our, this is our attitude era. Come All in if you want to compete. All I will say. Like I said, by the way, uh, Travis knows a lot of trivia. I told him he needs to join. So. <laughs> All I will say, one title in Titan trivia, one to go. <laughs> I come in for the gate now. <laughs> also, I'm going to make the official announcement right now before we go. Uh, as you guys know, after Titan Mania, we have a draft coming up. Cool. So we have two factions. Evolution, led by this guy, the bad guy. And the D's Nuts, led by Matt Graham. So, there will be a draft. We have Matt Graham picking the first pick. I will pick the second pick. All that. So, there you go. It is officially all the picks are set. So, there we go. Guys, thank you so much for watching. From everybody, uh, let's go ahead and ask Rob, where can the good people find you? Find me at Robert Castor on Facebooks, competing in all trivia leagues, IG commissioner here at Titan. Please join Titan if you haven't already. It's a fun league. Get yourself in there so you can compete uh, in all the, the grandiose endeavors that we have. And Greg Gregory, he'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. All right, Chris Diaz. Where can the good people find you? The champ. You can find me on Facebook and utterly. You can see me, I think, next week on um, my the video should be up for opening night trivia. I debut match there. I did pretty well. I will say who won, but it was a pretty interesting match. And I'm not sure when the team multiplex would be up. I also did really well. So anybody who doubted me, go watch though. It's been a good year for me so far. And I'll be holding the, my a belt on my shoulder for whoever wins before and come to face me. Come hell or high water. One title is one. One to go in Titan Trivia. Uh, coming for that geek. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And also, speaking on that, uh, I'm going to make the announcement now. Uh, a couple weeks, uh, I've already told Rob yet. I think we're going to do a uh, a little battle royale for the inaugural Geeks Championship so that we could just get that out of the way. Um, 
either it's a four man, six man, five man. Chris, I already know you're wanting to do it. So, mm -hmm. and uh, tag teams will be officially be starting in the new year. So the new season. So unfortunately, Ooh. we couldn't really work out the tournament. Me, Rob, really tried. Like we kicked our ass to do it, but scheduling was just horrible. Too and bad. So yeah. Now with this new draft, we can move on. So anyway, guys. Uh, also, I just want to say, Titan Mania, thank you. I know I'm saying a lot of shit. Whatever, get over it. That's my heel for me. Why are you petting me like a dog? Um. Anyway. I want to personally send a thank you because I just found out yesterday that I was the high, shortest short film highest grossing actor on YouTube of last year. Uh, my movies overall have hit 30K. Um, they say I'm like the next rock, which gets me even more weirded out. Uh, my brother was a big part of that, so I just want to say thank you. Yeah, it's a big deal to me, and a lot of people compare me to, say, a Triple H or The Rock because I'm going here, and then I'm going the next place and doing the next thing. I've had this dream since I was six. So the fact that I'm actually pursuing that and I can have a career in this and I can work short films and get paid for this, that is a big deal. So besides that, I just want to say thank you. Uh, thank you, everybody. From the champ, Chris Diaz, from Robert Kastner, who will be facing Grant Gregory. We're probably not going to answer until right after Free For All, but – if you haven't joined the Facebook page, that's where you all get the good shit. So go check that out. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. It's free for all week. We'll see you on Friday.